All right, good morning guys from Camagin Island, the second smallest province in the whole of the Philippines. Look how beautiful this place is. We're here for a week, we cannot wait to explore. Proper, first proper island in the Philippines. Look at this. Now we've got ourselves these scoops, little motorbike, 300 pesos a day. Did a bit of bargaining, really good price. It's brand new, couldn't ask for anything better. Super chilled out, let's go for it. I mean, here we are, look, main road, where's everyone? Just palm trees, mountains, volcanoes. Let's see what Camagin Island has to offer. Right, here we are, we just found this little breakfast spot at the side of the road, a little carinderia. We'll see what's going on here. Let's try and grab some quick food before we set off. Hello, good morning. Hello, morning. Hello. You're a vlogger? Yes, yeah. yes, vlogger. Wow. Vlogger, vlogger. <laughs> Looks How pretty good, isn't it? How many followers do you have? Only 35,000. Wow, it's a big depth. It is okay. It's yeah, okay. it's okay. Ah, so they've got all kinds of stuff. We've actually got a squid fish here, which looks quite good. Like these little baby squid. What, what is this? Do you have chains of 1K? Do you have chains 1K? No, sorry, sorry. What is it? This is squid in... What, what is the sauce? Adobo squid. Adobo squid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Gisano squid or adobo squid. How much is this? 50 per serve. Okay, can I get one of these, please? Okay. We'll get one of them. That actually looks can pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> and then what else do we have? They're just like veg dishes. So these are always the best places to eat. Always. Maybe I'll get two rice to be a, be a big fat lad. This looks good as well, what's this? Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, welcome. What is this? Is this with coconut right. milk? Eggplant salad with coconut milk. Oh. Fresh coconut milk. Oh wow, that sounds good. Then an eggplant salad coconut milk. Everything looks pretty good. All the veg dishes in the Philippines are actually usually really good, as well as the meat dishes. And this is the classic little spot in it. That's 50 pesos for a portion. Look, we get like one, two, three, four, five baby squids. Not bad. <laughs> What's this one you've got? Eggplant salad with coconut milk. What else? That's eggplant salad. This looks good, doesn't it? Where are you from? England. Wow. English. Yeah. <laughs> I think for me, can I get two rice? Sorry. Two rice for you? Yes, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Big breakfast. Gotta start the day right, haven't we? It looks pretty good, everything. What, is that? what vegetable sort of veg is this? Oh, who's this we've got? We've got a sorry sod walking down the road. Nearly getting run over by this man on his bike. Hello. Good morning. You alright? Oh, you've got cute ears, haven't you? Cute ears. Gonna have me breathy now. Have a nice day. Wow, do you have, do you have kids already? No, yeah. not yet. <laughs> okay. Right, so we've got our food, we've got the adobo squid, which I've never had before, which looks interesting, doesn't it? Oh, and then I've just poured it all over the table, and then we just got the two rice. So yeah, it's just a nice little breakfast. Leisha's got her veg dish, rice, got a big jug of water, so we can stay hydrated for the big bear. Let's put you down here, and let's just try this, eh? You've got to get the two rice, haven't you, if it's, if it's breakfast time as well. So you can see there we've got like a whole squid. Interesting stuff. Right, let's try these squid then. Just little small baby squid. Just a whole. Oh wow. All the ink and dab. It's like explodes in your mouth. Wow, that's an interesting flavour. And you get the crunchy bits. Interesting stuff. Nice. <laughs> Got black tea. Squid ink tea. Quite a um, fishy taste though. This club. It's good we've been eating here in the Philippines. Just tastes different than anywhere else. It's all right. Good breakfast. Just to fuel us for the day. Thank you 
Oh, salamat po. We'll come back for lunch when you have more. Yeah, yeah. So everything here so was 135 yeah. pesos, which is such a good price, isn't it? See what you have. What is your name again? Marianne. Marianne, okay, lovely yeah. to meet Three you. Machos, Three machos, Three machos. Okay. <laughs> you know where to come. Three machos because I have three sons. Three sons. Three sons. Yeah. How old are they? So she said she actually really cooks up to 30 dishes, but it's more of a lunch yeah. and afternoon spot. Yeah. Well, she's still got 10 dishes out now, but she said after she'll have all kinds. She said she'll have Bickle Express, our favourite, and she said she'll have. What else did she say? I can't remember. Some of our favourite dishes Malungai with coconut milk, and what else? Yeah. Okay, salam apple. So we'll jump on the bike and we'll head off. Let's go. Right, we just pulled up here. We're going to do a bit of a hike into the jungle to a viewpoint. But I've just got to say, our Filipino people, that mental about pictures. We just watched like a full family pull up in a car, get out, take 28 pictures here, and then not do the hike, and then drive off. Men absolutely mental. It's a different world, isn't it? What? But yeah, we're going to go up here. Just got some water. We've learnt from our previous mistakes of doing hikes with no water. We're smarter now. Yeah, so here we go. Walkway to the old volcano and the Stations of the Cross. I have no idea how long this takes. I don't know if you have to pay. I mean, this is the Philippines. You probably have to pay. 20 pesos each. Okay. Hello, good morning, sir. Good morning. Can I ask, how long does this take? Uh, pro, uh, from the half of the mountain, sir, probably uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes? 30 to 45. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, please can I get two? There's no insurance for payments, so we will be paying later. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy, enjoy, okay. enjoy. It smells good. It smells good, doesn't it? Alright, so we'll head up now. Let's see how long this actually takes. It's just nice steps, so. Yeah, so the walk begins. We'll see how long it takes. It is 10 past 9. And then all the way up, we have the Stations of the Cross. All the way up to the top. And I think it's stepped all the way, which is perfect. Good morning, sir. Whew. That's a nice bit of exercise anyway. I don't know what is at the top. I'm guessing there's a view, but it'll be in the jungle. We'll find out. And like I said, we've got the water. Alicia's got the water in. I'm ready. This is, we're prepared for this one. For once. <laughs> no, I think... It'll be fine, I reckon at the end maybe it gets very steep. We'll show you. Nice day for it. Look at that, we've got not a cloud in the sky, which is, I guess, a good and a bad thing. Because we're just going to burn today, aren't we? It's the, it's the week of burning. It's not going to end well. And we've run out of sun cream, in case you could. I don't think this is going to take long at all, to say the truth. I feel like we're nearly halfway. We're at station number six, I think. And the views are quite nice already. It's just like thick jungle, thick vegetation, beautiful ocean. Peace. So quiet, like, beautiful, isn't it? Just the insects. Step stopped, and now it's just like a trail. Hey up, check this viewpoint out. First proper view we've got, and this is absolutely stunning. You can see in the distance, the sunken cemetery, which is, as the name suggests, a sunken cemetery from back in the day when one of the volcanoes erupted. My mate obviously knows I've turned camera on, so he's pulled his disc saw out down there. But yeah, you can see how beautiful it is. Like the ocean is so blue. It's just, just thick green jungle, like it's so green. This island is so green. The Philippines, has, in general, has been so green. Yeah, we might check out the cemetery while we're here in Camagin. But this path goes a little bit further, so we'll see what's at the top. See if there's another viewpoint, but... I'm happy with that. It took us like 15 minutes. If that, so it's not as hard as people make out. I think people must just, like, take a picture every four seconds again. We're playing detective. Dun, 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 dun. Someone's had a bit of a emergency up here on the 
pack, it seems. I think we're nearly there now. I'll tell you what, it's hot. I'm dripping, absolutely dripping in sweat. Dripping. I'll tell you what I do appreciate though, and that is on the way up, someone's put these makeshift bins all the way up, like carrier bags tied to the trees, which is really good. And there's only a little bit of litter, like not much at all. So I really respect that. You know, it's thought there would be a lot of litter, but no. So here we are, the 14th station. Let's see, have we got a view? Actually, it looks like it carries on a little bit further, but this is definitely the best view. Yeah, definitely the best one. Wow. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's so beautiful. And peaceful, except that. <laughs> yeah, when, when our man puts his power tools away, it's peaceful. Let's just show you here. So yeah, the sunken cemetery is there and you can see the reef all the way around, the like stunning turquoise water. It's really nice. Just look at the jungle, it's just like, there's not much here and that's exactly the way we like it. It's like rustic and um, not built up is what I'm trying to say. This island seems, so far, seems to be chilled out and not super developed and like, you know, like in that horrible touristy way. It's, it's pretty chill. There we go, top of the hike, took about half an hour bloody hell mate you've got like um, another half an hour to go uh, oh like oh. Half, half an hour 30 oh. minutes it's very far very far very far he's winding you up <laughs> he's winding you up <laughs> he's joking really yeah it's just, it's just <laughs> literally at the top there <laughs> there we go back down nice little walk to start the day that it is very hot but it was very nice i've got to say it so i don't know what we're going to get up to now probably just explore a bit more of the island and this man this is this man is the bane of everyone's life with this this so in it he just needs to pack it in what's going on it smells good this man thank you sir you, you smell so good what what are you wearing gucci no, you can smell the aftershave thank you sir thank okay well, so yeah, it isn't free, you have to pay 20 pesos each. Hello. Hello. I've just got a hundred. Is that okay? Hot, hot, hot. Okay, salam apple. Okay, salam apple. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You are the kids police on the island? Yes, sir. Is there tourist, is there tourist police. Tourist police. Is there lots of crime coming in or no crime? No, no. No crime? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Safe for, place? Just for the safety of... Okay, okay. Salamato. Safe place. Sir. Safe place. It's beautiful. Yeah. Enjoy, it's peaceful. Enjoy the okay, yeah. thank you. Salamat. So I'm actually going to go over there and get this man's fresh calamansi juice as well. A few bikes here now. A few people going up. For some reason, more people are going up now. It's hot. And I'm just going to say it again. People just keep pulling over and taking pictures with the walkway, like the, the bottom of the hike, and then not doing the hike. What is the point in that? It's so weird. I don't care what you say. That's weird. Why would you want a picture of the hike that you've not done? Strange, or is it so you can pretend you did it because you're a lazy dosser? Yeah, I don't care. Fresh calamansi juice. Fresh from the farm. That's what we want to see, isn't it? Where's our mate? Hello. We've come for the calamansi juice. Stay inside here? Okay. Oh. 40 only. 40. Oh. Oh, sorry. Give you 10. Okay. Through this, I keep it. I keep it. I, I fill it up. <laughs> <laughs> Should we try this calamansi juice? Looks good, doesn't it? Oh, it's very cold. It's ice cold. I'll show you that. Oh, should we have shook this up? I think, I think we should give it a, a swizzle. Oh! Let's try it. Eh? It looks good. It looks does look super fresh. Well, it is. You can see the bottles here, really. Here are the bottles that we fill up. So yeah, fresh calamansi juice here in the Philippines. Well, that's really good. After that hike, oh, that's well good. So refreshing. Try that. Looking like a bloody pop star there with that hat on. 
The sun is serious out here. Oh, yeah, that's good. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, refreshing. Right, so we'll um, mission on to somewhere here on Camagin Island, or maybe we'll just go and hide in the aircon until later on. Right guys, we're just going to check out the Sunken Cemetery here on Camagin Island now. It's super hot, so I've had to put my hat on the right way around for once. Good morning, sir. Now, I don't know if you have to pay to go now. I'm hoping you don't. Surely you don't. I think you just might have to pay if you end up going out on a bit of a snorkeling tour. We turn this into like a full-on tourist attraction with all the gift shops and whatnot selling. Just like tourist trinkets, hats, bags. Just all the rubbish, the usual rubbish. Oh, Alicia's found the cutest dog in the village. So cute. Really cute. Oh, hello. Oh, you're <laughs> cute, sweetheart. Is it a girl or a boy? I don't know. <laughs> Look at your little head. Cute, you're aren't you? Cute. Oh, you're cute. Beautiful, beautiful white colour, aren't you? Aww. Soft as well. You want to go look at the sunken cemetery? <laughs> <laughs> so let's have a look what's going on here. I'm presuming people are just going to hassle us now to go on that snorkeling tour, but we'll see, we'll see. Nice and shaded under here. Chickens walking around, cocks. Oh no, it's just chilled out. It's alright actually. Hello. So. It's chilled out, come here in the middle of the day, there's no one here. I think everybody comes for sunset, but there we have the big cross that they built, like I said before, to commemorate the people who died in the eruption a long time ago. The water's pretty blue though, isn't it? And nice, pretty clear. There's not too much litter, obviously there is some litter, which is a shame, always is a shame, but it is what it is. Yeah, so a lot of people go snorkeling out here, but I think, they, I think they make you pay to go out, but surely you can just go out and swim on your own. We've not actually got our snorkeling stuff, so maybe we'll come back one day. You can see the reefs running behind the cemetery. Pretty cool spot though, nonetheless. There's no one here, it's peaceful. It's quite beautiful, isn't it? And I was wrong, no one's even hassled us, so it's just chilled out. It's like a volcanic sand beach, isn't it? Yeah. So down here it's like a pure volcanic sand beach like you know like that like brown sand that we've seen a lot in like Central America and other places you know what I mean they're like brown sand but it is quite nice to be fair and I don't know where these boats are going taking you out what maybe out snorkeling somewhere further out right so I just spoke to all the fellas here about going snorkeling out there you can head out behind the cross to like the actual reef but you can't go out on your own obviously which is a bit silly you've got to um, pay 300 pesos or something for a guide but I, I don't see a point in that i can swim i know what i'm doing i don't need a guide to hold my hand out there so i'm probably not going to do that i'll just snorkel somewhere else on the island where we can um, snorkel with freedom at our own will still a very nice view though but yeah, I'm not a fan of that, that's a bit stupid that. I get it if you can't swim or something, but if, if you're just a normal person who um, wants to go out and have a look at the... It is what it is. In the UK, pretty much all I did was go out diving, so... To make someone pay to go into the sea to look at what the Lord has put there, it's ridiculous. All right, so while we're here, just cruising through town to show you how chilled out, it is on the island, we're just passing through a little town here. We've got this beautiful little blue and white church on the left. That's that, Iglesia de Cristo. Nice, isn't it? And yeah, it's just super chill. We just got tricycles, as always in the Philippines, little Sari Sari shops, like little corner shops. There are the occasional jeepney, or like a shared truck. And yeah, as always, it's as colorful as ever, look. Filipino flags everywhere. See on the left and on the right. In a second you might be able to see it's just the mountains, the green mountains and volcanoes. Behind there, can you see? Did we see them? Everyone's got their own box, oh, obviously it's in the Philippines. We'll get you a view of them mountains 
some point on this trip. But yeah, just look how chilled it is. It's a beautiful place to live, isn't it? It's got that slow life feel, like there's no stress. Here we go, we've got a jeep in here. Julius. They always have names. So yeah, we're gonna grab some lunch and then hide from the sun all day until later. We're gonna go somewhere really beautiful, you'll see. Right, we just stopped at the side of the road. Because I think they're selling puto or something. Hello, sir. What is it they're selling here? Yeah. This is puto oh. and this is toasted puto. Oh, toasted puto, yeah, you can see it's all charred. Bibunga, I think she called this. Ah. What is this one called? Bibinka. Bibinka. Is this one the most delicious? Yeah. Ah. How much are they? Ten. Ten pesos. Should we get to come and get two, please? Yeah. Yes, please. So hot. Look really good these actually, look really good. So we just should yeah. We just got the standard puto and the toasty, but the toasty look better don't they? We've had standard before. Little roadside shop. Oh is that the oven? Oh wow. This is where you are toasting them? Uh, oh wow. Like a tiny little oven, it's cool. And the, and the other one is for puto. Puto? Stay steam. Oh, steam. So you steam the puto. Can I have a look? Yeah, sure. Sorry, sir. So they're steaming puto in this steamer here and then that roasting. Oh, is it hot? Oh, no, it's not. Ah, so they're making these little... Are they hot? Not too hot. These little trays. Super cool. Really cool. It is a little bit hot in there. Drop a little oven in it. What do they cook on? What do you cook on? You cook on wood or charcoal? Wood. Wood. Ah. Yeah. Is it around the back? Let's investigate. Let's see what they're doing here. Oh, so they just load it up with wood. So they get all this wood. Put it in there and that's the fuel. Are you How cool yeah. is that? That's now I've got bloody <laughs> black hands. This is our first time trying toasted puto. Mm, I hope you like it, sir. Oh, let's try it now. Let's try one. You can sit here and drink coffee and eat puto. <laughs> coffee and puto, yeah, yeah that's a good one, isn't it? I got two normal puto. I do love it. And homemade peanut butter fish Homemade, homemade peanut butter. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ooh, still a little bit warm. Look at that. So there we go, there's the toasted puto. It looks good. Let's see if it's any good. Mmm, it's pretty delicious. Mass it up. That's oh, actually really good. And she puts them in banana leaf, yeah. It's actually it's really good, there. that. Mm. Fluffy, a little bit sweet. But I like the toastedness on it. That is really good. Mm. Good snack, 10 pesos, snack. What a fine little spot here by the side of the road. Wow. We're also going to get quick instant coffee because you've got to support places like this. So there we go, what have we got? I think we're on the coffee cup. Coffee cup. You've got your choice here of your instant coffees. What have we got? We've got them all, but we're on the coffee cup. We've got Milo as well. Don't see a Milo. And then here is the Homemade peanut butter, she's only got one jar left, so that tells you it must be good. You can see all the oil in there. I bet that's so good. I wonder how much that is. I bet that's really good. But well, this is what you want. Toasted puto. Can I ask, how much is the peanut butter? How much do you sell for? 80. It looks really good. So it's 80 pesos for like, that's a good price. It's like one pound for it. How many kilograms is that? Wow. We don't know, Wow. 30 to 40 kilos. Wow. What is it? What's inside? You are delivering online, online shopping. Oh, oh. wow. Online shopping. So I think I'm it. You are a delivery man. <laughs> the delivery man. That is the, the bag is bigger than me and Leash put together on yeah. his back. Oh, like really size wise. So yeah, we'll just have our coffee and puto. And then we'll see you later on. Good little afternoon snack, isn't it? It's like an afternoon tea. What's that on here? Stingless B? It's a stingless B. Oh, that's really good, that. Did you say 70 pesos, ma'am? 80. 80, okay. 
I forgot, sorry, I'll take it. This is the best peanut butter in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Let's see, it, it looks good. Do you need this with peanut butter? Yeah. Oh. I think that's what we'll do. Coffee. Toasted puto. Peanut butter. Sounds alright to me, that. Salamaco. Let's try it, let's see what it's like, see what it's all about. We need to stir it with something though. Oh, you've got a spoon, perfect. But it's, um, obviously it's proper peanut butter, so it's all separated. It looks good, doesn't it? Really good. <laughs> that looks really good. You're gonna have to hit me up with some of my puto. For real peanut butter too, that's a crazy price. Are these stingless bees? I hope they're stingless. They're all over my hands. Yes, <laughs> that looks good. There we go. Cheers. Mm. That's really good. Good? That is absolutely delicious. That's so good. That's proper peanut butter. I like it. Mm. That's such a good snack. It goes so well with a toasted puto. Oh Your lunch, yeah. Yeah. So good. Yeah, check this place out. Oh, little spot. Nice people, nice hard working people. Roadside shop. I tell you what, this is absolute heaven this. The toasted puto with the peanut butter. It's such a good combo, it's well good. Oh, it's really really good. I'm loving it. It's all soft and spongy, like a cake. I know, it's so good. Mass it up, set up. Yeah. Every day, you will see us every morning coming for this toasted puto. Salam apo. Good luck. Really good spot. What's the place of this? What's the name? Binca Sab Sabario? How do you say this? Binca Sabario. Binca Sabario, okay, it was as I said. I was doubting myself. Binca Sabario. She's got a phone number on there as well, but to be honest, there's only one road pretty much around Camigan Island, so you're going to see this and uh, do not drive past it. You'd have to be an absolute fool to drive past it. Well done. First okay, so we've got some palm trees. Across the road we've got a man with a donkey. What's he doing there? He's carrying something. This, the sun is absolutely brutal. Got our mate there with Horse even, not donkey, what am I talking about? Oh, nasty looking dogs. Oh, hello. Puffer fish, Puffer yeah. fish. Are they delicious? You eat them? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Not poisonous? No. Yeah. They look really good, don't they? She's got the squid and then the puffer fish. Hello, ma'am. What else hello. have we got? Some nice fish here. Some big fish, smaller fish. What's this? Ah, eel. Ah, so they got eels, they got everything. What have okay. you bought? What, what, what have you bought? What fish have you got? This one? What, what did you buy? That one. You've got this one? Yeah. Have a nice day. Okay, there we go. Your little roadside um, fish shop as well. And they've got a barbecue. Are they cooking some of these fish? I don't know, but there you go. 